I have a question regarding the recovery timeline. I know that a general guideline is 18 to 24 months, but how is that impacted by trickle truth? More information has come out uh, as late as last week. The most significant piece was how the affair really started. I've spent all this time trying to understand his version of the story, and it never made sense. The real explanation is so much easier to process, and I wish I'd had that to work with from the beginning. He also denied many other things uh, until the truth recently came out. So when does my timeline begin? Is it D-Day, or is it three weeks ago when I learned more? I'm hoping that trickle truth doesn't take me permanently back to square one because that would mean we just added another 16 months to this hell. <laughs> Can you give me an idea for a realistic goal to set for myself? I need something to believe in. I usually say that recovery in terms of that timeline is based on uh, when you finally get the entire story. Uh, that's not necessarily the truth depending on what's happened over the past 16 months. So uh, I can't tell you that it's going to take you that much longer. Uh, for some people, just that trickle truth, uh, though, can make it take um, even longer than that because each time more truth comes out, the more difficult it is for them to trust. That being said, if you remember about the recovery timeline, it's not that things are bad all the way through a recovery timeline. I would suspect if your husband's finally committed and if your husband's finally being truthful uh, about what's happening, he's trying to give you the truth, uh, especially since you've been doing this for a while, and depending on your personality, that uh, things will begin to get better um, quickly at one level you'll finally feel that it's right. You won't be living like you're walking on eggshells. Uh, maybe it does feel in your heart that things are radically different. Uh, that allows you to engage in a much deeper level. And I would suspect uh, you and your husband would find that your marriage is much better even in 90 days than it's been over the 16 months. When we refer to 18 to 24 months, it's just that the consequences of what's happened uh, have a tendency to continue to roll through the relationship. With the new information you've gotten, uh, it can add other uh, dates, uh, names, no telling what it might have added in terms of pieces you have to process, but it also uh, adds uh, until you get over all of these things, new intrusive thoughts where triggers can occur and those waves or that flooding may continue to occur. Really the 18 to 24 months has far more to do with the fact that uh, you will have at less and less frequency uh, events or triggers or reminders that will still impact you. That doesn't mean, however, your marriage will be lousy for 18 to 24 months. My hope would be that your marriage will be better than it's ever been because you and your husband have learned how to be intimate with each other. Maybe the work you've already done will facilitate you uh, really doing well at this point, um, and you'll just have to deal with the consequences that come along as a result of the trickle truth.